This is Edward Morrow speaking from Vienna. We're planning to bring you an eyewitness account of Herr Hitler's entry into Vienna sometime tomorrow. We return you now to America. Hello, I'm Charles Kirov, and this was Edward R. Murrow. It all began with this very microphone in a studio of the British Broadcasting Corporation in London. This is London, he always began. This is London, being bombed again. The sound of gunfire has been rolling down these crooked streets like thunder. Half an hour ago, I could read street signs in the flash of anti-aircraft batteries. Little patches of sparks on the pavements marked the point where shrapnel fell. And I'm not searching for adjectives to make this sound dramatic. Just telling you what I've seen. This is London. There are no words to describe the thing that is happening. The courage of the people, the flash and roar of the guns rolling down the streets, the stench of the air raid shelters. Edward R. Murrow in See It Now. We are, as newcomers to this medium, rather impressed by the whole thing. Impressed, for example, that I can turn to Don Hewitt here and say, uh, Don, will you push a button and bring in the Atlantic coast? Uh, hello, New York. Uh, may we have the Brooklyn Bridge, please? We're coming right up, Mr. Morrow. There she is. Brooklyn Bridge. Thank you very much, Eddie Scott. Now, on monitor two, San Francisco, could you use uh, what you call, I think, a Zoomar lens and close in on the bridge a little? Roger. This is an old team trying to learn a new trade. When we started this series of programs, we had to decide where to do it from. We decided to do it right here from the studio. My purpose will be not to get in your light any more than I can, to lean over the cameraman's shoulder occasionally and say a word which may help to illuminate or explain what is happening. Now, speaking to you, not from the control room of Studio 41, but from the Korean front, is Edward R. Murrow. This is Korea. This is the front. Just there, no man's land begins. And on the ridges over there, the enemy positions can be clearly seen. In the course of the next hour, we shall try to show you around Korea a bit. Tonight, See It Now devotes its entire half hour to a report on Senator Joseph R. McCarthy. He has traveled far, interviewed many, terrorized some. Accused civilian and military leaders of a great conspiracy to turn over the country to communism. The question is, did the Civil Liberties Union supply you with an attorney? They did supply an attorney. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Uh, you know, the Civil Liberties Union has been listed as a front for and doing the work of the Communist Party. I resent the tone of this inquiry very much, Mr. Chairman. I resent it not only because it is my neck, my public neck, that you are very skillfully trying to wring. We must not confuse dissent with disloyalty. We must remember always that accusation is not proof and that conviction depends upon evidence and due process of law. This is no time for men who oppose Senator McCarthy's methods to keep silent or for those who approve. The actions of the junior senator from Wisconsin have caused alarm and dismay amongst our allies abroad and given considerable comfort to our enemies. And whose fault is that? Not really his. He didn't create this situation of fear. He merely exploited it and rather successfully. Cassius was right. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Harvest of Shame was one of Murrow's last broadcasts. It epitomized everything he stood for. Now, Edward R. Murrow. This is CBS Reports. Harvest of Shame. It has to do with the men, women, and children who harvest the crops in this country of ours, the best-fed nation on Earth. These are the forgotten people, the underprotected, the undereducated, the underclothed, the underfed. This instrument can teach, it can illuminate, yes, and even it can inspire. But it can do so only to the extent that humans are determined to use it to those ends. Otherwise, it's nothing but wires and lights in a box. 
Good night and good luck. <laughs>